Hi, well, I had a special guest with me in DC this week. <laughs> My daughter, Olympia. We enjoyed uh, getting to see a lot. She helped me vote on the floor. We had the opportunity to meet with Iowans, and we got to go to the congressional baseball game. Ollie, what was your favorite part of the week? Having ice cream with Bonus. At the ice cream social. Thanks, Ollie. So with that, Ollie joined us for a very busy week in DC. We passed critical legislation to protect our nation's security, which included four of my amendments. I also hosted a foster kid in my office to help us improve our overall foster system. So let's get into this week's sit rep. First, the House of Representatives authorized the National Defense Authorization Act, or the NDAA. This bill supports America's men and women in uniform and equips our military with the tools they need to fight back against our adversaries, like China, and secure our southern border to fully back our National Guard troops who are already currently deployed. I offered key amendments in this year's NDAA to support service members and bolster our national security. Most importantly, I offered the first amendment in memory of Corporal Adam Lambert from Adel, Iowa. Unfortunately, we are losing 22 veterans to suicide every single day. We must do more to stop this silent epidemic. And it's why I offer the amendment to improve the transition to assistance program to ensure our veterans know mental health services are available to them as they transition from a tour of duty back to civilian life. The second amendment I offer will prevent communist China from accessing America's personal data and infiltrating our national security. Today, China is heavily investing in a technology called blockchain or deep cloud storage. This technology is the future of how data storage is gonna work across the globe. So let me be clear, failure to act, to lead as America, would be an unmitigated disaster. A thousand times worse than China's ownership and influence that it currently has with TikTok. My amendment would ban the US government from using this kind of technology if it was developed by China or any of our other adversaries. The final two amendments will establish key strategic partnerships between a place where I work called the Defense Innovation Unit and our key allies, both in Israel and Taiwan. In the past year, Hamas, Hezbollah, and Iran have rained terror down on Israel. Congress must be unwavering in our support to defend our strongest ally in the Middle East as she defends herself. Through this strategic partnership, we can create new pathways for defense startup technology to be used in the field, a great innovator as well as saving American taxpayer dollars. As a veteran and a recently promoted Air Force Colonel, I'm proud to have all four of these amendments included in the final package to promote security and defend our service members. Finally, as a former foster dad and co-chair of Congress's Congressional Foster Youth Caucus, I was honored to host Michael as a shadow for our DC office. Michael, he's a former foster kid, also a Navy veteran, spent the day with me learning more about Congress and helping advocate to me ways we can improve our foster system. During our time together, Michael and I both shared our experiences with the foster system, me as a dad and him as a kid. I'm fighting in DC to improve our foster services every day to help children not only find their forever home, but to help families get through a really difficult process. Together, Michael and I are advocating for kids just like him. Iowa, as always, it is an honor to serve you and fight for you in Washington. Over the next few days, I'll be swapping out this suit and replacing it with a flight suit as I begin my reserve tour with the U.S. Air Force. But my team stands ready to assist you with any issues you may have, from Social Security, Medicare and VA benefits, to passports, and anything that touches the federal government. Please, don't hesitate to reach out. Call us at 515-400-8180 if you need any assistance, or hit us up in the email below. Thanks so much, Iowa. I'll see you soon.